Well, it's the end of the year, and don't we all know that tis the time of giving? Philanthropy isn't just about giving money or volunteering. It can also be giving of a talent that you can offer for a charitable cause. And remember, the traditional definition of philanthropy, love of humankind in the form of time, talent, and treasure. Different ways to give. Our news feature tonight with Yun Shin. There's not much out of the ordinary at the subway station in Seoul. On the train, most people are busy browsing through their smartphones. But in one corner, a lady is busy knitting hats. <laughs> For more than a decade, Kim Jong Sun has been doing volunteer work at a global charity center. For the project she's working on, people knit bonnets for babies in regions of Africa and Asia so they can keep warm at night when temperatures drop sharply. But none of the other volunteers have the knitting skills that Mrs. Kim does. People send in the hats they knitted, but before we send them to babies around the world, I check to see if they need touching up. Some are too small, some have a hole in them, or the knot on them can be too loose, so I make sure they are just right. Her commitment and her gift for knitting and garment repairing plays an important role at the center, to say the least. Over the past 10 years, Koreans have donated over one and a half million handmade bonnets, but no one is as skilled or dedicated enough to do the work she does. What Kim does here goes beyond conventional volunteer work. She's engaged in talent sharing, which allows people with expertise in certain areas to contribute their talents to society. In Korea, an alternative way of serving the community is making use of one's talents or skills for charitable causes, in what has come to be known as talent donation. Here at a community center for senior citizens, many look forward to the second and fourth Wednesday of each month, as they look to get a new hairdo from Youngbook. But E, known as the scissor hands, didn't become a barber for a living. I've been cutting my own hair for 30 years, but to cut someone else's hair, even if it's for free, you need to be a certified hairstylist. So I studied, took the test, and got the license. With his approved expertise, Lee now gives trims to senior citizens who can't afford to go to the barber shop that often. I used to wait months to get a haircut because I needed to save money. I'm so thankful for his service. Among thousands of registered local volunteer organizations and groups, the number of those that require specific expertise such as beauty care, education or consulting has been on the rise since 2011. And the number of people sharing their skills in a wide variety of fields, including performing arts and housing maintenance, is only expected to expand for a number of reasons. The common reason for not doing volunteer or charity work is that some people believe they don't have enough time or money to do it. But with talent sharing, that can't be an excuse. Anyone can share their special talent with society. It's just like he said, why not do something that you're good at and love doing to help others? It makes me feel good. And that's it. I suppose only those who have given to the community, like myself, know what I'm talking about. I love that I can be helpful for the things I love to do. Yun Shin, Arirang News.